Welcome to Learn and Draw. I am Anup Desai, working as lecturer. For more videos on AutoCAD and engineering drawing, subscribe to my channel Learn and Draw. In this video, we learn to draw 3D modeling using the AutoCAD software. So when we open the AutoCAD software, we get the page like this. So before going to draw the 3D model, so we have to do the initial setup. That is, we have to set the units, limits and zoom the page. So let's now do that. First, let's set the units. For that, we can type units in the command bar and press enter. So we get the page like this. Here already it is set to millimeters. So we will just press OK. Next is we have to set the limits for that. Just type limits and then press enter. So now it is asking the lower left corner. So here we have always we have to give 0, 0, enter. Next it is now asking the upper right corner. So in the upper right corner, we can give it as 200, 250, 300. It is depending upon the size of our drawing. So at the moment, I will give it as 200, tap 200, enter. So next is we have to zoom the page. For that, we have to press the shortcut Z. Here it appears as zoom, then press enter. Now in the zoom, there are number of different sections like all, center, dynamic, extend, etc. So in these options, we have to select all. So the shortcut for all is A, then press enter. Now we have zoomed the page. Next, we have to draw this 3D model. We have to select the 3D mode. So for that, here at the bottom, we have to go to the settings or it is a workspace switching. Here we have to select 3D modeling. So now we can draw the 3D model. Three D model of the machine component. So this is the machine component that is given. The top part is the front view. The bottom part is the top view of the machine component. So now we have to do the 3D model of this particular machine component. The easiest way to do this is, so let's draw the top view. Okay. Then we'll extrude this according to the front view. So that will be the easiest method to do this drawing. Okay. So as you can see, the machine component is made up of two components, the bottom part so it has the diameter of 140 and we have to extrude this up to 20 mm and it has the holes at four different points of diameter equal to 10 mm. Okay. So first let's do this one. The second one is above this we have to do another part that is we have to draw a circle of 70 mm and extrude this according to the 70 mm. Inside this, there is a hole of diameter equal to 50 mm. So these are the parts we have to draw. So first let's draw the bottom part that is diameter of 140 and extrusion of 20. So for that, we'll go to the view here. So then we'll select top view. So this is the top view. So here let's draw the circle. So go to home. So here select here circle, center, diameter. So we'll select any one point. So then draw a circle of diameter equal to 140, press enter. So now here you can see, so this is our circle, okay. So next one is we have to draw the four holes inside this circle, okay. So for that the best method is first let's draw this circle. Okay, so then the, draw these intersection lines and then draw the circle. Okay, so I will show you how to do this. So first let's draw one more circle. Okay, so the holes are at a distance of 100 mm. So we'll take this same center point 
एंड ड्रॉ अ सर्कल ऑफ हंड्रेड एम एम ओके सो नेक्स्ट इज विल ड्रॉ द इंटरसेक्शन लाइन हियर सिलेक्ट द लाइन ऑप्शन सो हियर इन द लाइन सो विल सिलेक्ट हियर ऑर्थो मोड सो विल ड्रॉ द लाइन लाइक दिस रिपीट लाइन सो ऑन द सेम पॉइंट विल ड्रॉ द लाइन्स रिपीट लाइन so after drawing all the intersection lines so let's draw the four holes okay so for that we'll once again select center diameter okay so here at the intersection you can see so we'll draw a hole of diameter equal to 10 press enter so again select here center diameter at the intersection draw a hole of 10 mm diameter next once again center diameter here 10 mm again center diameter here 10 mm okay so like this we have drawn the four circles now we don't want these lines okay so we will delete this so we'll select all these lines and then press delete okay so these are deleted so next we will extrude this one for that we'll go to view in the views we'll select here yes e isometric okay so here we have to extrude those one so here for that we'll go to home select extrude option select these and press enter so how much should be the extrusion extrusion is 20 press enter okay so we have got all this extrusion so the next part is these are the holes okay so we have to subtract these holes so for that we'll select here subtract option select the outer block press enter next select these four blocks like this 1 2 3 and 4 so and then press enter now the holes will be created so next one is we have to draw this upper part okay so for that what we have to do so we'll go to view again then in the view we will select here top view okay so here we have to draw this circle of 70 mm diameter so for that we'll go to home take the circle center diameter so here you can see will get this center point 70 diameter press enter so next once again we'll go to the view in the view we'll select yes e isometric next is uh, we have to go to home extrude this select this line press enter and then extrusion how much should be the extrusion it is 70 so then press enter okay so next we have to join both these objects for that we have to select here union so we'll select this first one second one press enter now both are joined together last part is we have to draw this hole inside this for that once again we'll go to view then top view so here we have to draw a hole of 50 mm diameter home circle center diameter will click on this will get the center point so the circle will have the diameter of 50 will type 50 and press enter okay so next is go to view go to view in the view yes e isometric so see here we have got this one next is go to home extrude select this circle press enter next how much should be the extrusion the extrusion is total up to the bottom that is 70 plus 20 that is 90 plus enter okay so then the hole will be created next is we have to separate this hole from our machine component 
for that we will select the subtract option select subtract select the first component press enter select the second component press enter okay so now our machine component is ready we will verify this using the shaded option we will go to the view select the 2d wireframe so here we have to select the other options okay so i will select here shades of gray see this is our actual problem so this completes the three dimensional view of the machine component so here we can take the printout for that just click control p so here we have to select the name of the printer and press ok to take the printout this completes the 3d modeling of the machine component thank you for watching the video for more videos on 3d modeling and engineering drawing subscribe to my channel learn and draw